old Super Bowl halftime review from last night. I really didn't see anything too outrageous other than the typical fire performance that they normally give. Usher standing on a clock of fire and his shadow of him standing on that clock of fire put off a time that looked like it might have been five to five minutes five minutes to five excuse me that's what it looked like i mean but outside of that nothing really alarming and i'm pretty sure the ipad goat folk will decode that clock and what that meant him standing on it uh he wasn't wearing no dresses last night uh even though you know this is the new age of arts and entertainment so there was some things that some outfits that he had on they were kind of goofball, but other than that, the game was a typical game, defense, not really much going on until the second half. Halftime performance was, oh, again, other than Alicia Keys not hitting the first note, <laughs> her having on red, is, I noticed that a lot, is a lot of red. It's always a lot of red, okay, with these jokers. Red, black, and white. So, eh, it was all right. You know, the game was mediocre. And then the halftime for standards of performing uh, was good for standards of performing. He wasn't lip syncing. He was singing, which is important. A lot of artists out here today are not singing. They're programmed piped in but other than that man i didn't really see anything too outstandingly alarming again if you decode the the clock that's the biggest thing what can we pull from the clock of course they showed taylor but she wasn't really showed a whole lot because the game was pretty much lukewarm I mean, they put the they put the camera on her a few times, but it wasn't that there. I think I, I think they put it on her maybe a, a total of six to seven times when I was counting. But that's a shame we can't watch something without analyzing it to see what we can see. I didn't really see a whole lot. I mean, again, uh, some people, you guys may look at that halftime performance and find something. Put it in the comment section if you found something. Um, especially with the halftime performance, but I really thought it was decent. You know, a couple times I went to sleep on the game in the first half. Uh, second half, it got more, more a little bit of a... Now, uh, let me say this, the commercials. There were a couple commercials that were iffy on trying to tell us things. And... Um, I'm trying to remember one of them. It was a couple of them that were like, oh, what you mean by that? When I was watching them, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, what's that mean? Because these are commercials that you don't see during a regular TV session, only when you go into the Super Bowl because they have to pay for that spot. So other than, man, it was a couple, but I, I got to really go back and look at them. Kind of, kind of raised the eyebrow on but pretty much it was decent last night you know again they're always going to show you commercials and halftime performances that have a message but whatever you thought <clears throat> please put your comments in the in the comment section whatever you, if you saw something that was alarming to where i might say or other people might say uh i didn't really look at it like that if you found something that was alarming in a commercial that you, again, because Super Bowl commercials are different from all the rest of them, uh, the halftime performance, if you can decode the clock of fire Usher was standing on, and I'm having a hard time even pulling up, and I said I was going to record the whole thing, but I, after a while, I just lost interest <laughs> even doing that. But if you can decode the clock of fire, the time that it was projecting when he stood on that clock of fire. 
I want to say it was almost five o'clock at the time the shadow of him being projected up top and the big hand, little hand. It looked like it might have been eight till five or five till five, okay? Decode that, see what you come up with. And, you know, or if you just have any other intel about it, drop it in the comment section so we can chop it up. But that's my review of the Super Bowl last night. It's pretty minute. It was pretty, eh, not really. It was a pretty much boring game until, again, second half. Halftime performance again. I ain't really. The commercials may be a telltale sign of something. There were a couple. There was one commercial that was a doomsday commercial. And I can't remember if it was for a movie or a TV show. But they made sure they slipped that commercial in there. But whatever you found, put it in the comment section. And I'll chop it up with you later on. Peace.